Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump is going to work on erasing Michelle Obama's legacy with great new plan. Since day one of Trump's presidency, he has been steadfastly on doing everything the Obamas imposed on America during their long eight-year reign. It has taken tremendous effort and a stiff spine to continue doing so, but Trump is doing a fantastic job of dismantling the Obama legacy. And he's done it on many fronts. Economic, military, taxes, regulations, education, immigration and the list goes on and on and on. When Obama was in office, media outlets would wax poetic for hours on end over Obamacare or raising taxes. The glory of Marxism was reveled in by the left and Americans were crushed under its weight until President Trump arrived on the scene. When Rep. Thomas Massey, RKY, was queried about the media not covering Trump's more human side on issues, he told a story about his daughter who asked the president when he would make public school lunches great again. President Trump told her he would have to work on that problem. And so he did. He studiously went about erasing Michelle Obama's legacy issue by coming up with a great new plan with some help from Rep. Mark Meadows, RNC. Students across the nation roundly complained about the awful lunches that former First Lady Michelle Obama had mandated to be doled out in school cafeterias. Many just quit eating lunch altogether, which is not healthy for growing kids. I can't say I blame them though. I wouldn't have eaten those lunches either. On Wednesday, at Turning Point USA's High School Leadership Summit in Washington, D.C., Massey recounted his daughter meeting President Trump and then asking him about a particular campaign promise. She's 14 years old and had the honor of meeting President Trump at the White House Christmas Ball. She asked him, Mr. President, could you make our school lunches great again? Massey elaborated on the encounter by saying, he looked at her, he was actually kind of terrified, here he had a 14-year-old girl pointing out that this, that he had talked about this on the campaign trail, and that it wasn't done yet. I think that's what he was worried about. But he did something and he showed a side of himself that you never see in the news, recalled Massey. The president said, you know what? I need to work on that, don't I? And then he pointed to me, and he said, but I'm going to have to work with your dad and those guys, because they're more powerful than I am. Wow, I don't think I've ever heard a president besides Reagan who gave credit where it was due like Trump does. I'm impressed. Michelle Obama's program was called the Healthy, Hunger-Free Kids Act of 2010. It was anything but what the title said it was. It restricted the amount of fat that milk offered in public school cafeterias could contain, reduced the number of sodium foods that students were permitted to have and pushed for expensive all-grain products to be used, forcing schools to spend more on the products kids won't buy. Do you know what happens when you take all the fat out of your diet? Nasty side effects such as your skin cracking open for one thing, among others that are equally as unpleasant and painful. That's not what I would call a balanced diet and it's certainly not how Obama's daughters ate at their private school. Faced with students who won't buy lunches low in salt and sugar and jacked up with bland-tasting grains, the nation's 54,000 school cafeteria workers are urging Washington to junk health-focused rules pushed by former First Lady Michelle Obama, the Washington Examiner wrote. ABC News reported back in December that the U.S. Department of Agriculture's new interim rule, which has been in effect since the beginning of July, relaxes sodium limits and whole grain requirements on school lunches and also allows flavored milk with 1% back into school cafeterias nationwide. That's at least something and makes the cost bearable and the food edible. Rep. Mark Meadows, RNC, is leading the fight to repeal the former First Lady's Healthy Hunger-Free Kids Act of 2010, states the Washington Examiner. From the Washington Examiner Overly prescriptive regulations have resulted in unintended consequences, including reduced student lunch participation, higher costs and food waste. Federal nutrition standards should be modified to help school menu planners manage these challenges and prepare nutritious meals that appeal to diverse student tastes, a new policy paper from the association said. Salt's a biggie, and the Department of Agriculture under former President Barack Obama was pressing for even lower amounts, which the association wants to shelve. It warned that naturally occurring sodium present in meat, milk and other low-fat dairy foods will force schools to take nutritious choices off the menu, including many soups, entree salads and low-fat deli sandwiches. The federal government involving itself in what is served in school lunches is the epitome of government overreach, Meadows said. Districts that have chosen to opt out have been able to provide more options to students and better quality services. At the beginning of the year, I released a report of more than 300 regulations the Trump administration can undo, which included overly burdensome federal lunch program standards. 
it's the perfect example of how government interference generally makes a small problem far worse. Now, school lunches are beginning to return to normal and who knows? Under the watchful eye of President Trump, Mark Meadows, and Thomas Massey, maybe they will be even better when this is over with. Meadows' plan of repealing the Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act of 2010 is a great start to undoing the damage done by Michelle Obama and her progressive intentions. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.